Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how I got good at appointment setting so fast. Okay, so this is gonna help you because if you replicate what I'm about to tell you, then you're gonna get similar results or the same results or better results. So if you feel like you're struggling right now with appointment setting, whether you're new and it's taking a while for it to click and you just don't get it, or if you are, you know, you're kind of a few months into the game now, you kind of get the gist, you're booking calls here and there, but you really want to just take things up a notch and you want to go for those big commissions. How do you get those big commissions? Is by booking more calls. And you're trying to figure out what mistakes am I making? What am I not doing? Well, today should really help you, this video. So before we get into it, I just want to say thanks for 2K subs. You guys are like the OG tribe. So next goal is 5K, 10K. And then the best part is that you guys are, have been from the, you've been here from the start. That's what I'm trying to say been here from the start so i just want to thank you guys for 2k subs and yeah hopefully the, the content's been super valuable so anyways let's take it back to uh 2021 yeah let's take it back to 2021 2021 2022 around that time i was still in university and i actually wasn't full-time appointment setting what i was doing was i was running my own business i was trying to run a coaching business for organic marketing helping other coaches and consultants scale. And if you have been following for a long time, you'll see, or if you scroll down to my old videos, you'll see that my videos used to be about helping coaches. It used to be about coaching, consulting, about marketing, about client delivery, nothing. There was appointment setting videos, that's for sure, but it wasn't the main focus. It was kind of scattered around. So if you scroll down, you'll see it. And around that time, so my arm's kind of hurting already, trying to hold the phone up. I'm doing it this format because, you know, I'd switch, I wanted to switch it up a bit. I used to do videos like this, so we'll go back to my roots. But anyway, around that time when I was still in uni, right? So I was in uni, I was trying to figure out, trying to figure out how to make this whole thing work, this coaching business work, and it wasn't going anywhere, right? It wasn't going anywhere. I couldn't sign clients. Yeah, I couldn't sign clients for a long time. It was only when it was like the last one to two days left of moving out of my accommodation in uni, everything, everything was done, the exams, etc., And I was gonna move back home. Only then did, did like, I don't know, the universe decide to give me two clients. But the point I was trying to, I'm trying to make is I was, not, I was not competent in that business model. So, and I didn't know what I was doing at the time, but it was actually a blessing in disguise because what that taught me, and it wasn't like I was slacking off it wasn't like I wasn't doing the work or trying to get this business off the ground, this coaching, right? It just, I just couldn't figure it out. I made a ton of mistakes. I could make another video for that. But this whole time it was, it was a blessing in disguise because it got me, it gave me the ability to learn all these skills. It taught me how to appoint, how to do appointment setting. It taught me how to generate my own leads. It taught me how to make content. It taught me how to speak in front of a camera like this. It taught me how to de deliver results for clients when I did get them. It taught me how to sell better. So it taught me all these skills. So while, you know, I didn't, you could say, get, get rewarded for it in currency, in, in money, right? Then at the same time though, I did get rewarded for it by learning the skills and getting the repetitions from it. Tens of thousands at this point now, okay? So that was a blessing in disguise because now, when I stopped doing appointments, when I stopped doing the coaching business around the time I had gone back to my parents' house, you know, I was, I was in a, not a dark place, but I was kind of, I was kind of down bad. Like, like imagine going back to your parents the year before, before you, before you go off to uni, you tell them like, oh, just, just trust the process, just wait. It's all going to, it's going to work out. Trust me. When I come back home, you'll, you'll see what, what, what's happened. A year comes, a year goes by, you still have nothing to show for it. And now they're frustrated and disappointed in you. And now they, you know, them telling you to get a job and, and, and all that stuff. It's, they have more reason to do it now. Okay, their son is not, or their daughter or whatever. They don't have receipts. They're not, but they don't, they don't have anything to show for it. Okay, so that really sucked. But I used it as a, an opportunity because around that time I'd stopped coaching. And what had happened was a friend reached out to me and you guys probably know who it is, it's Elijah. Renaissance Closer, I just made a video. Uh, my last video was a, a coaching call for Renaissance Closer. So, cause I'm a head coach for them, for the setting side, okay? So essentially when he was starting out in Renaissance Closer, when he was starting out his business, he reached out to me 
and how we started working together and this ties into how I got my first set, my first like proper setting position was through my network. So we already knew each other and he had started marketing for his business, his own coaching business, and it was working out for him. He went viral on TikTok, had a TikTok blow up, got like a million views, and he's getting all these inbound leads coming in. But obviously with those inbound leads coming in, you don't want them to go to waste, so what do you do? You hire a center. And the first person he, well, don't quote me on this. If it, he's probably right, this is probably right. But I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say this is what his thought process was, but his thought process was to hire me and or ask me, not hire me initially, that wasn't the idea, but to just get a helping hand from me. Because he already saw, and this is why, he already saw, I was really good at appointment setting. I'd already gone to thousands of reps. While the coaching business didn't work out, while I, I sucked at sales at the time, while I sucked at everything else with the business, the one thing I found out I was really good at while running that coaching business was appointment setting. It was actually getting leads booked on the calendar, how to actually conduct the conversations with them. That, I don't know why, well I do know why. The reason why I was so good at that compared to anything else of the business was because I got more reps through it. Like I would do probably 30 to 50 new messages per day. I'd do all my follow, I'd follow up with every single one, every single person I hadn't followed up with that day um, and more obviously. I would generate more leads, I'd do cold outbound and I would just I'd, I'd also critique my conversations as well. I'd see why I didn't why I didn't book that person in. What I could have said better, and just couple that over. Just let that compound over several months. So I was in uni, just my laptop, just grinding it away, trying to figure out how does this whole appointment setting thing work. On top of that, I was doing over the shoulder appointment setting. If you don't know what that is, it's basically like, um, you know, you get friends and you get each other to share a screen. And then you have someone over the shoulder, you have someone telling you what you should, suggesting to you what you should say, or what you should, yeah, basically suggesting what you should say. You're basically getting help from an external source, from a friend, another business owner you're doing it for, you're doing it with, um, what to say in the conversation. And we, I used to do that like five times a week or every day pretty much with other two, two other like business friends. So yeah, that's why, that's how I got good at, at appointment setting. That's how I did it guys, that's the source. I actually made a video on over the shoulder. So if you want to check that out, I'll put it up here so you can actually see how that works and how you can, you can try and you can do it yourself. But long story short, I stopped coaching. I started working with Elijah. His TikTok blew up, quite a ton of inbound leads. The reason he chose me because was because he saw how good I was at appointment setting already. So it's, it's a smart move, right? And yeah, it, it worked out booked in a ton of leads, a ton of leads from that, that TikTok. And then got, a, got our first few clients for his program and then it's grown to immense, it's, it's, grown, it's grown crazily to this point now. So I'm proud of him. Uh, shout out Elijah if you're watching this. And uh, actually this time last year was kind of like the beginning of when he started the program. It's, it's December, start of December, mid-December. So yeah, crazy how fast things can change over the course of one year. Okay, so anyway, how I got good so fast at appointment setting or how I just got, how I got to this level to this day where I can educate people and you guys find value in the content is thousands and thousands of reps, constant iteration and adjusting and speaking to other people, asking for feedback, coming up with, or constantly coming up with different things, different ideas, different solutions, different ways to handle conversations. And then all the stuff that's on my YouTube, that's all just come down to several, several hours of just doing the same thing over and over again. The framework, objection handling, finding leverage, all that good stuff. Trying new openers, trying to figure out why we didn't get red, why we got left on red. Just constant iteration, constant work and and repetition. Okay, so that's that's how I got good, right? There's no there's no secret to this. There wasn't any shortcut. So when I say fast, it really wasn't that fast. Um, but yeah, there was it was no there was no shortcut. Just did the work did the repetitions, and then here we are today. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, and yeah, it's that, that's how it is, that, that's the truth, guys. Same with any other skill, not just appointment setting. So yeah, share this with a friend who needs to hear it. I'm gonna be coming with more heat every day. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing every day. If I don't post, then you can call me out, but we're gonna be doing this for every day. 
for the next 90 days. We're gonna be posting something up. All right, so hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you don't know, I'm gonna be mentoring people now, so link in the description to apply. And uh, yeah, peace.